Hello, hello everyone. How are you? I haven't been here for a while, but I'm back and I have a nice summery design for you. Although it is a little bit raining today, but it's been getting warmer. So today it will be a stamping design with Flamingo. This is a stamping plate, seashells and quotes, and I'm using this flamingo here and leaves. So first flamingo and then next uh, one leaf and monstera leaf on the bottom and then another on the side. And then I made a mistake. So I had to remove this part and I used a corrector pen. My corrector pen has been used many, many times, but it's still working. Inside is nail polish remover, non-acetone nail polish remover, and it's very handy for mistakes like this. And then one more stamp at the top, because I wanted more leaves. And then I paint inside. This is Addicted to Me gel polish, and then slightly mixed with um, marshmallow gel polish. And I fill inside of the flamingo's body just quick i'm using brush detailer number three and on top i'm adding a little bit more pink and this is marshmallow gel polish mixed a little bit with flaming fuchsia so i have it um, just like pinkish shadows so this is what i'm adding here you could also use a neon pink it would be it would be brilliant then I'm using for the leaves Mimosa gel polish mixed with a bit of neon green. It looks awesome. You could also use um, gel polish apple green. It also has a beautiful green shade. And I'm feeling inside all the leaves. Don't worry too much. It just uh, needs to have this color inside. And then I'll go over with um, black liner gel to fix them. Uh, the borders of, of each petal of each leaf <laughs> and here I'm using brush detailer number one and filling each leaf inside just like this and later everything goes to the lamp to be cured for about 30 seconds it's just a flash cure that's all it's needed to be done and then I'm taking after after the designs being cured I'm taking Jessica's uh, Choice brush, very fine, very fine brush, great for details. And I'm going over uh, some of the, um, some of the shapes, some of the outlines of the design, just like this. And um, here I'm painting inside because this needs to be black. And then the petals. And don't worry if the lines are a little bit too thick. Here I'm also using slightly the detailer number one brush. And if it is too thick, don't worry because later I will go over with a white line, what white liner gel. So here it is done with the black and then highlights with white inside of the eye a little bit. You can use uh, detailer number one or you can use Jessica's Choice or any other thin brush. The lines have to be slightly thinner than the black. And just wherever you feel like, add the highlights. It doesn't have to be all over the um, design, just in some spots. And then it will be it. It's very quick and easy. You can add more highlights, you can add more color if you like. It's up to you. This is just the easy option. Inside the outline and that's it done. Don't forget to cure it in the lamp and then apply the top coat. And of course a little dot in the eye. Then done. Ta-da! I hope you like it. Thank you for watching. I wish you a lovely day. Bye.